Federico did it again, so let's talk about it. This time, it's all about tasks. First of all, I loved the full screen mode, and I think they should do the same for tags. Uh, many years ago, tags would be full screen, but now that I saw what they did with the calendar, maybe both options would be good. Having the little eye like we now have on the calendar item to just take a glance, look at some recent tasks or tags, uh, keeping the, the old drawer and clicking the name tasks or tags would bring us to the full screen mode. But anyway, I, 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 I think this is much better, uh, this full screen mode here. What I don't understand is projects. What is a project? Because Evernote has this unique way of, uh, how can I say, uh, of not displaying, but the way we organize, the way we use tasks in Evernote is completely different. And I like the word unique because that opens so many possibilities. I have so many videos here in the channel talking about that. Uh, in my view, a notebook is already a project because the notes inside that notebook will have tasks inside them and that notebook is a project. So my question is, what is project here? Is it a notebook or is it a new categorization layer? If this is a new way of categorizing things or information in Evernote, I believe this will uh, add, this will create confusion. I'll, I'll soon show you how different layers, new layers uh, of categorization already create confusion on Evernote teams. And you understand what I mean. So I think projects first should be notebooks. And going back to the word projects, I don't agree with this name because it kind of implies maybe state that every group of tasks is a project and that's not really true but i do understand and i can see a project extrapolating a notebook maybe two or three notebooks but evernote already has a way to filter information notes that are in different notebooks it's called tags from the very beginning when tasks was still in private beta I was already advocating for tags. I even think that the, this little flag should be replaced, entirely replaced by tags. Because how many flags are enough? One, I, I, I've seen people asking for multiple colors, multiple flags, and now he's suggesting here uh, priority. Why not replace all that with tags? That would make everything work the way Evernote already works. Uh, notes live inside notebooks. And if we need to filter notes from different notebooks, we can use tags. The same would work here perfectly well. I can use tags for priority. I can use tags to group uh, notes from multiple notebooks, aka projects. I mean, this is transforming Evernote into a traditional tasks app. And I think there is so much value on how Evernote deals with tasks. And then if we go to the post, the tweet, he talks about description isn't that the same as a note inside a task that is inside a note? Okay, let me show you uh, how the problem with multiple layers of categorizations on Evernote teams, and we'll come back to this. We just talked about Evernote's structure, uh, notes inside notebooks, and if you wanna group multiple notebooks, you can use stacks. Well, Evernote teams has spaces <laughs> let me show you this if you go to a space you have a notebook inside that you can have multiple notebooks inside that space however if we go back to the notebook structure remember this notebook here office 
it is here, okay? But I can create a stack here, new stack, new one, and I can add office and my notebook to this stack. And if we go back to the spaces, this is a different categorization, organization, call it whatever you want. But can you see how confusing this is? To be honest, these are different levels. The spaces is a team space and the notebook is the person who is using Evernote, in this case, my account here. Uh, this is an organization at my level, at the user level. But can you see how confusing this can be? And remember, notes inside notebooks, every note has to be inside a notebook in Evernote. Well, if we are here in a space, let me see if there's a note here. I can. Did you see what just happened here? A uh, note that was inside a notebook is now inside. A, it's not inside that notebook anymore. If I go to the notebooks, there is no note here anymore. And I can, of course, create a note here. New note. New note. And if we go back to that space, I now have the new note and I have this note that is inside the space. Are you getting how confusing this can get if we, let's go back to the tasks uh, screen, print screen. There are many layers here. So what I think should happen is first not call this projects, just call them notebooks and use the notebooks as a space to group uh, notes that have tasks in it and create in this list, not create a new category, but create in this list a tags uh, option so I could filter uh, by tags and maybe replace this priority and flags and all this with tags. It's crazy, but I think this would keep Evernote tasks more uh, in line with how Evernote works. Doing this, I think it's just creating uh, a new tasks app that works just like all other tasks apps. I don't know, maybe these are crazy thoughts, but I would love to know your thoughts on my thoughts. Thanks for watching. See you soon.